My name is Mizuki Yuno. I work at an energy company. I'm not a fan of bragging, but I think I'm pretty good at what I do. Uh, you want to see me, boss? Oh, hey, Mr. Nakata. It's about the new brand you submitted. I think it could use a little work. Really? I thought it was enough. I just don't like how it doesn't consider unpredictable happenings or other problems into the schedule. <laughs> you worry too much. Uh, we should just accept the complaints if they don't like it. I mean, yeah, but... I'm sorry, can you please rework it just a little bit? I know you're great at this. Hmm, okay, fine. I'll take another look. Thank you. Nowadays, it's not like it was before. People look at your skills, not your age. I was hired for my skills and immediately got a management position. Sometimes I have to deal with people who are older than me who work for me. If I can't keep control of my employees, then the whole department risks spiraling out of control. I don't need to be a boss. I can just make sure the department runs smoothly. I don't think people like when younger people end up becoming their bosses. So I have to pretend like everything is fine the way things were. Only I work as a boss. You're such a great team worker, Mr. Yuno. Uh, I'm not sure. But it's because of you that everyone's able to work worry-free, right? I mean, yeah. Mm. Man, your cooking is seriously delicious, as usual. Oh, you. Stop it. Mayugami. She works as the bartender for this whole restaurant. She graduated and started her own business in her early 20s. She's younger than me, but she's holding her own very well. I'm not doing too bad in a manager position. And, being single, I usually come here to relax and unwind. At first, I came here for dinner, but now, I come here for Miss Mai. Hello, Miss Mai! Oh, hey, Mr. Usuzuki. The usual! I gotta say, I'm addicted to your alcohol and cooking, Miss Mai. I don't even make the alcohol. <laughs> yeah, but you pick it out for me. It's close enough. Oh, hey, look at the nerd. Man, he really should give up. What are you talking about giving up? I see you sometimes. How often do you come here? I don't know. Twice a week or so. <laughs> twice a week? I guess you're not really a VIP, are you? Oh my god. I wish he'd shut up. I get that he wants to appeal to her, but he doesn't have to be so annoying about it. I'm sure he just doesn't like that I'm talking to Miss Mai. Apparently, Mr. Yuno is busy at work. I see. Busy, huh? I'm sure it's nothing worth being proud of. I bet you. I'm way busier. I told you before, but since I run a company as a CEO, I'm insanely busy. But I have to have your food and booze and a taste of your love. Did you really need to add Miss Mai in at the end? Oh. By the way, I saw you in the city the other day. Oh? Hey, Mai. This guy was peeing in public because he was drunk. All the people were screaming around him. <laughs> what is that guy saying? Hey! Stop lying! You already forgot? I mean, you were piss-faced. You could barely stand up. <laughs> Mr. Yuno doesn't seem to remember. Maybe you saw someone who looked like him? Here's your usual. No, 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 no. It was definitely him. He was eating with some random girl who looked easy, too. He's just flying through his teeth! How do you feel about a guy that dates around with easy girls? Can you see them as potential dates? <laughs> LOL. Hmm, I'm not sure. I understand what you're saying, but technically, I'm here to pretend to like people even if I don't like them and pour them some alcohol. It's probably not that far off from what they do. Plus, people know what they're getting into, so who cares? If they like the girl, they like the girl. Huh? Of course, I'm not saying that you did see Mr. You know. It's possible you mistook him for someone else. Miss Mai, she trusts me. I'm serious. I have perfect eyesight. Okay, okay. How's the food? I changed the seasoning a little bit. Mmm. It's delicious. She's not picking sides, but she's handling the situation well. She's so good. I can never help myself going back to that store. Even if that annoying little man is there. The conference is over. I'm so glad we don't have pointless meetings to waste time over. Huh? Wait. 
Was that that liar who always hangs around Miss My store? No, hey! I'm pretty sure he came this way. Excuse me, did you see someone who Suzuki come around here? Oh, Suzuki? Yeah, the guy who came in the other day. Wait, he started recently? He works here? Yeah, he was apparently a part of the planning department, but he was so bad that he got sent away. It's annoying. We're not some kind of charity department. The guy getting chewed out right now is Uzuzuki. You can't even do your job! What the hell are you doing? It's not break time! Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, Uzuzuki! You're missing an entire digit in one of our orders! Uh, really? Sorry. You don't even sound sorry! You're such a lousy worker! Whatever, kid. Apparently he lied about his resume. I think it's only a matter of time before he gets let go. He's far from a CEO. This is terrible. Mr. Suzuki? I know. I need to make another order. Leave me alone. It doesn't look like you're running much of anything. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey! You're the manager at the R&D department! Oh, hey! I just saw someone I've seen before. Uh, the manager? Yeah, it seems like your department is running incredibly efficiently. Hats off to you. Uh, it was all luck. I have my coworkers to thank. I'll be heading out. Oh, by the way, Mr. Ozuzuki? You should probably not let age get in the way of your work. It's not like that anymore. And if you don't move with the times, you're gonna get left behind. Uh, uh. Goodbye. After that day, he never showed up. He was probably afraid and knew that I knew who he was. But even more so, his ego was shattered. Now that he knew that I was his superior. Miss Mai! How do you feel about dating someone who's almost 30 and works as a manager? Hmm... I think it's possible. I still go to the store. My name is Sota Fujitani, and I started working this year. One day, I decided I wanted a girlfriend. Yuki, I need your advice. I'm desperate for a girlfriend. I want one so bad. What should I do? What? Ever since I started working, I've been feeling so lonely. I'm so afraid, if I don't get a girlfriend, I'll die alone. So I see you're stressed out over work. I considered trying out some online dating sites, but I chickened out. I was hoping you could introduce me to someone you know. Dude, I've never introduced a girl to anybody. Why would you ask me? Remember back in university? Koji, Toshio, and Yosuke all got girlfriends because of you. That wasn't me. It was my girlfriend and her insanely wide circle of female friends. Well, I don't mind introducing you to girls, but that's as far as I'll go. Don't hold me responsible for anything that happens between you and the girl, okay? I won't, I promise. Please? A few days later, Yuki sent me pictures and profiles for four girls. These are the girls that are single and open to meeting people. Wow! I can't believe he sent me four girls! Yuki's girlfriend has so many friends. Ah, this girl is super cute. Her name is Anna Yumi. Anna's picture caught my eye. Yuki's girlfriend checked with Anna and she apparently told her that she liked my picture too. Yuki, Yuki's girlfriend, Anna and I decided to meet up to get introduced to each other. This is Anna. She's quiet since she's nervous right now, but she's friendly and easy to talk to once you get to know her. I'm Sota Fujitani. I'm happy to meet you, Anna. Uh, likewise. Anna, just relax. It'll be fine. Well, uh, Soda is... <laughs> he looks so much more handsome than he did in his picture. Did you hear that? Say something back to her! I... I'm surprised as well. You're a lot prettier than in your picture. Uh, you're just flattering me. No, I'm not! I really mean it! To tell you the truth, you tick all the right boxes for me. Uh, oh, my. Do you know Anna's good at cooking? You should ask her to make something for you. 
Any time. Uh, do you have a favorite dish? Well, I like Japanese fried chicken. Okay, I'll make it for you someday. Anna and I hit it off right from the start. Things were looking good. We exchanged numbers and decided to start things off as friends. However, my notification started to go crazy the next day. When can we meet again? I made Japanese fried chicken for you today. Are you busy with work? Can you call me? Uh, she texts me every 10 minutes. We're not even dating. We're supposed to be friends. Wow, oh, this girl is crazy. I couldn't help but feel creeped out. So I turned off my alerts and continued to work. I checked my phone after I finished work to find what the hell? I found a ton of unread messages from Anna. She even said, I can't take this and you don't think I'm worthy of living, do you? Among many other things. Oh God, I wanted somebody for comfort. Not some psycho that wants to control everything in my life. You're home. Hey bro, what's up? Gosh, Riku, I need to vent. Riku is my little brother. He's a university student, but recently he's become a shut-in. He talks to me regularly, but he tries to avoid talking to my parents. I'm a little worried about him, and I'm scared that he might eventually stop talking to me as well. I see. This girl sounds like she's mentally ill. Think so? So I was right. So did you reply to her? I sent her a text saying I can't reply because of work, and I haven't opened my inbox since. I'm too scared. Hmm. I hope she's not going crazy. Stop that. I'm freaking out. Riku, isn't there a way to kindly shut her out of my life? How would I know? All my previous girlfriends cheated on me or dumped me because they thought I wasn't worth their time. Crap. I forgot Riku became antisocial because of his exes. How about I just reply to her instead of you? This girl. She just wants your attention, right? Maybe I could just reply for you and try to say things like to get her to lose interest in you. Are you sure that it'll work? Wouldn't she get angry if she found out that you were the one replying, not me? I don't know. I have a lot of time on my hands. I'll do a little research on how to turn these people away. I just want you to promise me you won't read the exchange messages. Riku synced his tablet with my account. He told me not to do anything and that he would handle her. I know it's not right, and I should be the one cleaning my own mess. But I can't reply to her while I'm at work. I'm scared of what Anna would do if I didn't reply fast. So I decided to listen to him. Hello? Yuki? What's up? Hey, Sota! Are you okay? Are you alive? Are you well? Whoa! What's going on? I'm doing fine. Really? You tell me you're dating Anna and you're still doing fine? Huh? No, Anna and I are not dating yet. Did Anna say something? You need to know that Anna's insane. She's totally crazy. I already know. Um, who'd you hear that from? Um, well, Anna's ex-boyfriend. We met through some people and he told me about her. She's scary, man. Yeah, we're not even dating and she sends me texts every 10 minutes. Freaking out. I don't look at my messages anymore. Gosh, I feel so bad introducing you to her. My girlfriend wasn't aware that Anna was like that. She told me to apologize to you too. It's not your fault, Yuki. I don't blame you for anything. It's my problem to solve, so don't worry about it. Tell your girlfriend not to feel bad about it either, okay? Riku, how's it going with Anna? No problem so far. I'll keep you updated. Riku didn't tell me much about his interactions with Anna. I promised not to look at the text, so I had no idea what was going on. I was curious, but I didn't want to break my promise to Riku. Two months later, Riku came up to me to ask a shocking question. Hey, Sota, it's about Anna. Do you think it'd be okay for me to tell her that I'm the one that she's been texting the whole time? I, I think I've developed feelings for her. I really like her, man. I wanted to check if it's okay to tell Anna that I took over your account to talk to her because I had feelings for her. I want her to know how I feel. What? Seriously? You like her that much? Yeah. I guess Riku's heart has begun to heal through his interactions with Anna. Okay. 
but I'm gonna go with you. I'll tell her that I asked you to reply since I had work and I couldn't text her all day. Let's tell her the truth. And so Riku and I met up with Anna for the first time in two months to explain everything. Anna sat there quietly and listened to us talk. She even had a smile on her face. I kind of had a feeling that the person I was talking to wasn't you, Soda. But I didn't say anything about it because, to tell you the truth, I enjoyed the conversations I had with Riku. I think I have feelings for Riku, too. I know I'm a lot to take in, but you never once complained to me about it. You're so straightforward when it comes to love. That's one of the reasons why I fell for you. <laughs> thank you, Riku. Soda, I want to thank you, too. If it weren't for you, I never would have met Riku. Uh, you don't have to thank me. Riku had been betrayed so many times before. I guess he was drawn to how devoted Anna could be. After that, I met another woman and got married to her. Riku and Anna are a married couple now, too. My name's Haruto Shimada. I'm a high school junior. Because of mismanagement, my father's small business went bankrupt. Haruto, I'm sorry. We cannot go on any longer. I'm thinking of shutting down a factory before we get further into debt. So, Haruto, I want you to quit school and start working. I'm sorry you have such a deadbeat dad. Smack me if you want. I deserve it, son. Forget it, dad. I'll quit school, no problem. I know it's a private school, and it's expensive anyways. Sorry, son. You'll be able to attend school for the rest of the month, so make sure you say your goodbyes to everyone. I knew my dad's business was not going very well, and I figured this day would come soon enough, but there was really nothing I could do. Instead of complaining, I figured I should just accept the situation and help out. That was the least I could do for my folks. Besides, I was expecting this to happen for a while. I made up my mind to put my family first and quit school. The fact that I was going to quit school quickly spread throughout the class. Hey Haruto, is it really true that you're going to quit school? Yeah, I'm afraid so. My dad's place is going out of business, so I figured I should get a job. Oh no, we're gonna miss you so much. Seems like such a waste, Haruto. You're such a good student. Isn't there anything you can do? If it was a public school, maybe, but this is a private school, so the tuition is pretty high. I even checked how much, and to be honest, I was shocked. But isn't there something? Our school has a lot of parents who run their own businesses, so there must be someone who can help out. Please, thank you, but don't worry about it, guys. Just the thought is enough for me, really. Besides, you never know what will happen to your family. Their number one priority is taking care of their kids. Man, I really do have pretty good and caring friends. Well, I still have a bit of time, so I think I'm just going to enjoy the last of my high school life. We have to have a farewell party before you leave. I was overjoyed that everyone was sad about my departure. But I gotta say, I was pretty sad that I wouldn't be seeing them anymore. So, Haruto, you're going to quit school, I hear. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Kamishiro. Miss Kamishiro is one of our top students. She's the president of the class committee, and her family is very well off. She is way out of my league. You seem pretty popular with everyone in class. Everyone's talking about your goodbye party. Yeah, I know. Everyone is so considerate. I don't know why. It's not as if I did anything special for them in the past. Oh, really? I always see you giving them advice about this or that. Hm. You may think it's trivial, but for the person asking, it's probably very important. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks, Kamishiro. I don't feel so bad anymore after getting such comforting words from you. Uh, are you serious? Are you really going to quit school? Yeah, it can't be helped. The fact that my dad's factory is closing down is undeniable. So, you want to quit, is that it? No, I don't want to if I could help it, but... Okay, I see. Okay then, our family will buy the factory. Uh, your dad runs a printing company, right? This is just perfect timing. My dad was just looking for a small printing company for his business. Yeah? 
Well, that's fine and all, but our factory is pretty old, and besides, we have accumulated quite a debt. Yes, you are right. The Kamishiro Group may not be able to operate just the factory, but if you are a part of that business's operation, a set, if you will, it may work. Huh? But... I'll stop by your place tonight and we'll discuss the details. I hope you and your dad will be there to meet with father. Ha 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 ha! Kamishiro is going to buy Haruto's family business along with Haruto himself? Really? Is this for real? But how does this work anyway? To be honest, I never really spoken to Kamishiro in class, so I was a bit taken aback. But the situation is too good to be true. There must be a catch. But then, that evening, a black sedan pulled up in front of our house. My daughter explained the whole situation to me, and we concluded that we want to buy your printing company, along with the factory. We hope to make it an affiliate company, so it would be appreciated if you could continue with business operations as you've been doing. So, does that mean you'll be hiring me? Yes, that's right. And if possible, I would prefer that all your current employees stay on. <clears throat> This is such an unexpected and wonderful opportunity, but our factory does not have the latest machinery. I'm just not sure if this factory would have much use for you. Well, there is one catch. My daughter says she wants your son as her husband. If we can come to an agreement, I am ready to contribute $50,000 as an engagement gift to the Shimada family. Huh? Uh, are you serious? $50,000 for Haruto to be your husband? Although it would mean saving the factory, and Haruto would be able to continue going to school. But we can't decide that by ignoring Haruto's feelings. Huh. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, think about it. No hurry. I'm sure we'll get a good reply. Let's wait and see. So with that, he left. Hey, Haruto. What's going on? How'd that thing go? Do you still have to quit school? Is it true that Kamishiro bought you? Yeah, uh, well, it's being considered now. Huh, so does that still mean you might quit? If you miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, you'll never get another chance, Haruto. Hey, Haruto, I guess I caused quite a stir, huh? Are you so turned off by the thought of marrying me? <laughs> no, uh, quite the opposite. I mean, you're beautiful, popular, and smart. If I could marry you, it would be a dream come true, but... Somehow, it just doesn't seem right. If I marry you to save my dad's business, well, then it would seem that I married you because I didn't love you. So it seems disrespectful to you. But then again, I could say I married you because I love you, of course. But I don't really know you well enough to say that with honesty. And marrying just for your looks and your popularity? Well, it seems inadequate. Also, I start thinking why you'd want to marry me. Or, am I really good for her? Or, well, you get... I start thinking about these things and I just can't stop. <laughs> you know, it's that part of you that I like so much. It's your ability to really think about the other person. How they feel. You would think seriously about a classmate's problems as if they were your own. Everyone around you seems so calm and natural. But they're all calmed by your mere presence. Huh? I don't have that kind of ability. At least, I don't think so. Things you think are just normal or unimportant are at times very important to others. Do you remember what I said before? When we met some time back and we talked, you were never nervous or overconfident, but natural. You always seem to disregard whether a person is rich or that this person is the president of the class committee or whatever. You always talk to people head-on without any preconceived notions. Really? Do I seem that way? I tend to get nervous in such situations. See? <laughs> You're doing it again! You have no idea of your abilities. Uh, huh? I think you should go on to college. You're smart, and if you continue to study, you'll do quite well. It just seems like a waste to have you throw that all away. Hey. Would you at least try and love me? I want to be able to protect you, and your family, everyone dear to you. I Kamishiro, that's not fair. If you put it that way, how could I not marry you? After that, 
I stayed in school and continued my studies. Dad's factory is doing well, and the parent company installed new equipment, and now we're busier than we ever were. Me and Kamishiro, you ask? Well, we're currently engaged and working at deepening our relationship. The more I spend time with her, the more I am drawn toward her. If you ask me now whether I love her or not, I wouldn't hesitate to say I do. My name is Kaito Murata. I live with my mother, and we are super poor. We don't have any money. We don't even have money for food. Yo, Kaito! Where did you get that tiny rice ball? Don't tell me you picked it off of the trash can in the park. Ew, that's nasty! Gosh, I can't tell you how glad I am to be born into a regular family. Hey, did you know? Being born into a poor family means you'll be poor for the rest of your life. Do you know why? Having no food means you won't be able to focus on studying. No studying means you won't get a decent job. That's why you'll never be successful. I couldn't agree more. So that means Kaito will only get to eat crappy rice balls for the rest of his life. Too bad for you, man. Being so poor, he might not even survive till adulthood. <laughs> <laughs> I only bring small rice ball to school for lunch when I'm lucky. There were many days where I had to live off of only water. My classmates made fun of me every chance they got. I got sick of it. So I started to spend lunch breaks behind the school building. Elementary school was so much better. We had school lunches. They were always so nice. The best meals I've had in my life. I know of schools that have school lunches in middle school too. I'm so unlucky. Why does my school require students to bring their own lunches? I'm so hungry. We were poor, but my mother worked hard to send me to high school. We still didn't have enough money to eat every day, but graduating high school would help me get a better job than being a middle school graduate. When I get a job, I'll be able to eat as much food as I want. <sighs> I did all that I can to get into high school. I still can't open my lunch inside the classroom. I don't want people to make fun of me. I also don't want to see other students' lunches because it makes me sad. When I graduate high school, when I finally get a job, Will I be able to eat as much as I want? I became a junior and my situation hadn't changed at all. I spent every lunch break behind the school building, eating my rice ball while in hiding. One day... Hey. Huh? Are you talking to me? Look around, there's nobody else. She's... She's like a girl thug! What did I do? Can I help you with anything? Eat this. I never see you eating proper lunches. What? I see you eating your tiny little rice ball alone every day. Ugh, that's why ugh, I made you lunch. Is this really for me? Did you not hear me? Don't make me repeat myself so many times. Wow. I have no words to thank you. Wait, am I allowed to eat this? What should I give back to you in return for this meal? Oh, shut up! Just eat it! This is... amazing! I can't believe this is happening! Am I... going to die today? Uh, why are you making it sound like the bento I made is your last meal? Seriously, this is the best thing I've ever eaten! Did you really make all this? Yeah, I may look like this, but my hobby is cooking. I'm gonna eat my lunch here too. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna repay you for all this. Hmm, well then, I'll make your lunch, so you should eat it with me every day starting now. I don't have any friends, so I'm always super bored. Miss, you're such a kind person. Huh? <laughs> don't say that, you're creeping me out. Her name is Yu. She's the bad girl at our school. From that day on, you started making an abento for me every single day. She would bring two lunches to school so we could eat together. She was so kind. It's no surprise that I started to develop feelings for her. But she was going to graduate that year since she was a year older, so we didn't have much time left together. You, you're almost graduating. Do you already know what you'll do after high school? 
Yeah, I'm gonna start working after I graduate. I don't have parents, and I live with my grandmother. I want to let her enjoy the rest of her life. Oh, I had no idea you live with your grandmother. I feel so bad. Your life is hard enough. You didn't have to do all this for me. Hey, don't worry about it, Kaito. <laughs> you should stop thinking about me. You need to worry about yourself. To be honest, your situation is much more intense. You? I promise to pay you back when I start working. Cut it out. I'm thankful for you eating lunch with me. My last year of school has been so much fun because of you. Anyways, once I graduate, you should start coming over every night to eat dinner at my place. You're still growing. You need more than just a tiny rice ball. You've done more than enough for me. But you're still willing to do more? Ugh, don't be so dramatic, Kaito. I'm inviting you because I enjoy eating with you beside me. After that, you graduated and started working. And I managed to become a senior. Every night at 7 p.m., I went to Yu's house to eat dinner with her. It had become part of my daily routine. She even wrapped up some of the leftovers so I could take some home to my mother. I swore to myself that I would repay her someday. I don't know what to say. I'm so thankful for her. You are so lucky to have her in your life. Mom, I think I want to go to university. Oh, what are you saying? You already know that we don't have the money. You said you would start working after you graduated high school. I'm going to get a scholarship. I want to repay you and her grandmother for everything they've done for us. I want to do this for you too, Mom. Graduating high school isn't enough. But we don't have any money to hire a tutor. I know. I plan on doing this on my own. I won't go to university if I don't get the scholarship. My mother was against it, but I decided to study my ass off to get the scholarship no matter what. And I succeeded! I got into university with a scholarship. I continued to study harder than anybody around me. I learned about programming and started making online games. One of the games that I made became very popular, and I received a phone call from a company. We would love to have you on our team to sell this game to a bigger audience. Yes! I can finally start making money! Hey, Kaito. Do you want to eat with me? Thank you, but I actually have something important to ask you today. Is it okay if we talk first? Uh-huh. What is it? You... Will you marry me? Uh, what? You're a poor student. Where the hell did you get this? Please don't tell me you borrowed someone's money to buy this. No, I didn't! I'm working with a company on selling my game. I made this money on my own. Huh? Oh, I remember you telling me you were making games. So you're successful now. Yep. And I'm only just getting started. Now I have the money to support you and your grandmother. We can live together from now on! I... Uh, it doesn't have to be now. We can wait till you graduate. And what are you going to do about your mom? Doesn't she want to live with you? My mom told me she wants to live alone. She feels that you might be uncomfortable living together since you won't be able to do whatever you want. And about waiting till I graduate from university? I just don't think I can wait that long. I want to be with you now. I want to start giving you everything as soon as possible. Uh -huh. I can't wait any longer. You deserve a better life. Oh, yeah. You dummy. How can I say no to that? I like you, Kaito. I... I like you too. After that, I continued studying while I made games for work. I go home from work every single day to a loving wife who prepares amazing meals for me. I never imagined myself having such a fulfilling life. I owe everything to you. She is the one who saved me and changed my life for the best. My name is Kaito Morimoto. My co-worker and I were on our way home when we got to talking about childhood friends. Hey Morimoto, so you had a childhood friend, huh? Man, I'm so envious of you. Did you go out with her at all? Yeah, well, I did go out with her briefly. Seriously? Oh, wish I had a childhood friend. You know, I really wanted to feel what it was like to have one. It's really not all that great. People put too much emphasis in it. There are all sorts of so-called childhood friends. Hey, what do you say? 
Should we just start dating? I mean, we've always been childhood friends. Seems kind of natural to just start going steady. What do you say? Yeah, I guess you got a point, but... I've been friends with Miku since kindergarten. And when we started college, we decided to see each... I mean, start dating. But she was adamant that the guy always pays for dates. And on top of that, every time we met, she insisted that I give her some sort of gift. She acted like a spoiled kid. After three months, we ended it. Just didn't work out. But she's a childhood friend after all, and she continued to live right next door. So, it was a wee bit uncomfortable, but she's since moved out, and I don't see her around anymore. Uh, I see. Uh, how about you? Aren't you going to move out and live alone? Yeah, well, I've been pretty busy. Figured once I get settled, I'll move out in time. But right now, my folks really helped me out. Yeah, I don't blame you. Good to have understanding parents. You do get lost in work, sometimes even forgetting to eat. Maybe it's best that you stay with your folks for a while. Come on, man. You sound like my mom and dad. <laughs> I'm home. Oh, good. You're home. How was work? It seems Miku came back home. Huh? Really? Why? Why? Does she have to have a reason to come home? You should be happy. After all, now you get to see her all the time. Uh, not really that happy. I thought I finally got a reprieve from all that. Now she has to return home. I mean, it's her home and all, but why so soon? And as soon as she returned, she started pestering me. Practically on a daily basis. Hey, Kaito? I can't figure out how to work this. How do I exit this page? Could you help me out here? Uh, hey! Could you please knock before coming in? <laughs> huh? What? Are you looking at some naughty site? No, of course not. I'm working, and it's confidential company stuff. You're always working, Kaito. Want me to play with you a bit? No thanks. I got a girlfriend. No need for your uh, help. A girlfriend? I'm sorry, but could you leave? My girlfriend is on her way here. I gotta get this done before she gets here. <laughs> oh yeah? Your girlfriend is coming over, huh? I should really say hello, you know, introduce myself. Why do you even have to introduce yourself? Well, that's because we have, you know, a special relationship. We're just neighbors, that's all. Uh, huh? Excuse me. Uh, looks like you guys are busy. Oh, uh, hey Sayuri. Uh, it's not what you think. Oh, so this is your new girlfriend, huh? Hmm, she's nothing like I imagined. What kind of person did you expect anyway? As I recall, all the other girls you dated before were, you know, kind of pretty. I thought you preferred pretty girls. Has your taste changed over the years? Hey, Miku, don't be so rude. She's way prettier than you. Huh? You're the one that's rude. Hey, Sari, you sure you want to go out with such an ill-mannered guy? <sighs> I think I've had enough. The door's that way. Uh, you guys seem so close. No way! That's not true at all. We are not close at all! And even after that, Miku would just come into my room uninvited and start pestering me about this or that. Hey, Sayuri, wanna go on a trip next Sunday? Yeah, I figured a day trip somewhere out of town would be nice. Hey, Kaito! You can use the shower now! The bathroom lighting is so nice! The color's changing in and all. Really moody. Uh. Uh, 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 hey, what's that? Uh, uh, wait a second. Uh, I'm at home now. Miku is just spewing some crap, that's all. Hey, honey. Who are you talking to? Uh, you're being a real pain in the ass, Miku. Get the hell out of my room. Man, if this continues, Sayuri will get the wrong idea. I gotta do something. Hey, Mom, would you not let Miku in? She keeps getting in the way. I'm at my wit's end with her. Huh? What's up with you two? I mean, you guys are childhood friends. I'm sure she is just happy to see you again after being away for a bit. But she's just pestering you because she's lonely. No harm in it. 
She has no concept of good manners even between friends. It's always been this way with my mom. Whenever Miku comes over, she just lets her in. Guess it's been like this for years, so it's almost normal now. Like she's a family member. And what's even worse, Miku started even barging in on our dates. Oh, hey guys! Fancy meeting you here. Can I join you? What the hell are you doing here? All I did was come into a fashionable coffee shop and I just happened to see my childhood friend. What's strange about that? Yeah, just happened to be here, huh? Yeah, right. A cafe way out of here, out of town? Yeah, sure. Sure you weren't listening in on our conversation? Hey, Kaito. I heard from your mom that you started your own law office. Are you hiring? I could help you out. I'm a pretty good secretary. And hey, we may even get back together. Oh, what do you say? Huh? Uh, I'll pass. I've already hired all the people I need. And would you mind not interrupting our date? We were hoping for a quiet time together. Why do you prefer that woman? It's none of your business. And why do you keep stalking me? <laughs> Sorry to butt in. But you were fired from Sekai Corporation and now you're looking for a job. Right? Uh, uh, why do you know that? Well, truth be told, I work as a secretary at the Sekai Corporation. Huh? You guys were at the same company? What's going on here? Recently, there was an incident at the company. It involved one of the employees having an affair with a married man. Well, the wife came to the office and made a huge scene. Well, I happened to catch the two people having the affair apologizing profusely. Are you saying that you had no idea he was married? No, I knew he was married. He was always saying that you never gave him satisfaction. Hey, come on. How could you say that? Miku? I mean, really, here? I told you I wanted to break up with you, but you just would not relent. Why? Uh, I never said that. I just went out with you because you were so aggressive, demanding that I go out with you. How could you lie like that? Unbelievable. Please, both of you, shut up. I heard that the divorce proceedings are still ongoing, and you're also going to have to pay some sort of compensation to his wife. Apparently quite a lot. That's what I heard at the office anyway. Uh, this woman! She can't be trusted, Kaito. Be wary of her. Uh, I mean, blabbering about someone she hardly knows? <laughs> who does that? I'm sorry to contradict you, but... I knew who you were from the moment I met you. I kept my mouth shut until now. Figure it was not my business, but... Then why didn't you just continue to keep your mouth shut? What? Are you enjoying this? Again, who's the one interrupting here? I intended to stay silent, but you forced me to explain the situation to Kaito. Oh boy, what a fiasco. Okay, so you get fired and return home. And right away, you target me. I get it now. I believe that Kaito had his pride. And so I decided not to say anything. But you were so obnoxious that I couldn't stay quiet any longer. <laughs> huh, I finally got the whole picture. I will tell you right off the bat. I have no intention of going out with you. Zero. However, you are a childhood friend. I will be your lawyer on the case. Huh? Seriously? Well, we'll definitely lose, of course. <laughs> if you take this on, it will help your value as a lawyer. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Miku, instead of paying a lawyer in court costs, it will probably be wise to just pay the compensation and get it over with. It may be cheaper in the long run. No! Come on, please! After that, she borrowed money from her parents. But they too became fed up with her attitude and kicked her out. She's probably working her butt off to pay off her debts. For me, my law office got off to a good start and things were moving ahead. And eventually, Sayuri and I got married. We bought a house and we're now living a happy life together. My name is Riku Tanaka. I'm a regular old salary man. One day on my way home from work, I found a little girl crying on the swings of the park. Why is a young girl out at this time of night? 
Did she run away? What's wrong? Do you need any help? Yeah, I'm hungry. You can't go home? I can, but all I have is my Gia. Maybe she lives with her grandpa. What about your dad and mom? Are they at work? They're in the sky. Mom and dad won't come back. I got left here. I see. My mom and dad also went to the sky when I was young. Really? Yeah, when I was seven. I was so sad. And it's scary that you can't talk to them or see them again. Me too. I'm seven. I wish I could go to the sky. Yeah, but I bet your mom and dad want you to stay here. I think they had a wish for you. A wish? They want you to eat a lot of good food, study hard, and have a lot of fun. The people in the sky can enjoy things through you. Really? Yeah! So I try to do something fun every day. When I have fun, my mom and dad have fun too. I see. So if I cry, do mom and dad cry too? Nah, you shouldn't stop yourself from crying. If you want to cry, cry. But if you keep crying, you're going to make them worried. So you have to smile just as much. Then I think your mom and dad will smile too. <laughs> like this? Yeah, great smile. I think your grandpa's worried sick, so let's go home. I'll go and apologize with you. Thank you, mister. I saw myself in Akari when she told me she'd lost her parents. I headed to her house while cheering her up. Oh, uh, Miss Akari! What? A butler? Gia. Um, you are... I saw her crying at the park over there. I see. Thank you so much for bringing her home. Come on, Akari. Apologize. Yeah, you're going to apologize too, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, Gia. <laughs> you two seem to be getting along. I would like to express my gratitude to you another day. Would you be all right with me contacting you? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Oh, you can write on my wish leaflet as a thank you. Let's go, Gia. He can, right? It's Tanabata today. Would you mind spending a little more time with the missus? I was invited into the mansion and wrote wish leaflets with Akari. Write a lot. I've already wrote ten. A wish, huh? I guess I'd like to work late less often. These are so sad to see. Alrighty. I'm gonna write so many more. Come on, Akari. Let's write. Yeah. We had written wishes for almost an hour when Akari fell asleep. Thank you so much for today. I haven't seen her that happy since her and Madam passed due to a traffic accident. I lost my parents when I was her age as well. I'm just glad I could help. I see. I think the miss has learned a lesson being around you. Please, let me repay this favor another day. It's really okay. Just let Akari know I had a lot of fun today. That's enough for me. However, the butler didn't give up, so I gave him my contact information. Then, strange things began happening the next day. There'll be no work past 2100 from now on. At 2100, you will quit and go home. Whoa! Nice! Alright, time to go to lunch. Mr. Riku! Delivery! Huh? We've already received payment. What? Something is going on. Everything is going too smoothly. Did my wishes come true? Then, when Sunday rolled around, the butler and Akari showed up and revealed everything for me. Hey, let's go watch Detective Conan. Um, uh, Mr. Butler, did you order steak to my work the other day? Hmm, maybe the stars granted your wish. I knew it. These are all wishes from the wish leaflets. Oh, yeah. Man, those wish leaflets sure have a lot of power. <laughs> right? Akari has been getting all her wishes, too. And that's great! 
The mystery was solved, but I pretended that it was the wish leaflets. All the wishes slowly were granted. I became good friends with Akari. We went to the zoo and theme park together. I even stayed over at her mansion. It became normal for me to spend time with her during my days off. Then one day, there's someone I'd like to introduce you to, Mr. Tanaka. Hello, Mr. Tanaka. I've been told you're taking great care of Akari. This is Kaori, the sir's younger sister. She has taken an Akari after they passed. She's gorgeous! I'm sorry I wasn't able to stop by and thank you sooner. I had to take over my brother's company and was working non-stop. I had to let the butler handle everything at home. Akari is in a better mood because of you, Mr. Tanaka. She treats you like you are her father. So I have a favor to ask of you. What is that? Would you be able to raise Akari with me? I want you to marry me and become Akari's parent with me. Miss Kaori was drawn to you being selfless and loving. I would like to personally ask that you accept this offer as well. I would like to... Take care of Akari from now on. Would you like to date me with marriage in mind? Yes. Ever since, we began going out with Kaori and Akari as a family. Kaori was busy, but she would try to make time for the three of us. It didn't take long before I was in love with her. The next year, July 7th. Hey! Do you remember this? Oh, these are the wish leaflets that made everything come true. You still had them? Yeah, they're my treasure. There was one wish that never came true, but I was able to become family with you, so let me rewrite it. I hope mom and dad are happy in heaven. Can I put this up? Yeah! Let's write a lot more this year, too! Oh, I want to write some, too! We wrote our wishes on the leaflets. And this year, I would like to be one of the stars that grant Akari her wish. Hey, Rick. How long do you plan to use this car? My name is Rick Sonoda. I'm 24 years old and work as a cook. Today, I'm out for a drive with my girlfriend. Don't you want to drive a better car? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't mind getting a bigger car once I get some money saved. Want me to ask my dad? I'm sure he'd lend you the money. Huh? I don't know about that. Your dad would lend me money? My girlfriend Emily's dad owns the restaurant where I work. He introduced us, so he knows we're going out, but... I really can't ask him for money. Just wouldn't be right. Huh? Why not? I want to polish my skills as a cook and become the top chef at the restaurant. Then I'll make enough money to buy a car. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I could talk to my dad about that and get you promoted to a higher position. And then your pay would increase for sure. No, please don't do that. It would just create a rift with the other cooks who are way more experienced than me. Besides, I move up like that and I would end up with no real skills. I would be useless. Don't you have any ambition? You continue like this and you'll never save enough money. Huh? I wonder what's the matter with the pregnant woman over there. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. There's this cake shop I wanted to go to. <laughs> huh? What's up? Why'd you stop? Sorry about that. I just saw this pregnant woman back there. She seemed to be in trouble. A pregnant woman? Excuse me, miss. Are you okay? Oh, thanks. I just stepped out to go shopping when I started to feel dizzy. Is there someone you can call to come and get you? I've been calling my husband and my relatives, but nobody seems to answer. Okay, then I'll drive you to the hospital or to your home. Really? You would do that? Would you mind taking me to my home then? Okay, no problem. Can you walk to the car? Okay, just sit back there and get as comfortable as you can. I'll get you home right away. Thank you so much. Huh? What are you doing, Rick? She's not feeling well. I'm driving her home. Are you serious? I'm so sorry to interrupt your date. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No, really. You both probably had other plans. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you can say that again. Just my luck. Hey, come on! You don't have to be so rude. Huh. Where's about is your home? It's in Sekafushi City area, Sakura District. 
Huh? That's like way on the other side of town! Well, actually, it's closer than going to my hospital. Hey, Emily, can't you even say a kind word to her for God's sake? Oh boy, I'm sick of this. Let me off at the nearest station. Huh? Are you serious? Besides, to be honest, I was getting sick of riding in this beat-up junk heap of car. And picking up a pregnant woman during our date? I can't keep up with your nonsense. And riding with this pregnant woman. So embarrassing. I mean, what if she goes into labor in the car? That would be gross. Oh yeah? Okay, then I'll drop you off, so just shut up until we get there, would you? I can't believe you! I'm gonna tell Dad about what happened today. That means you'll be out of a job. You do realize that, don't you? Yeah, well, do what you think is right. I'm so sorry. All because of me. Sorry. No, please. I should be the one to apologize. Are you in pain? You do look kind of pale. Uh, I think maybe I'm going into labor. I'm so sorry. Huh? Then uh, I, I better get you to the hospital. When we got to the hospital, she was immediately taken to the delivery room. By the time her husband arrived, the baby was already born. Mr. Sonoda, how can I ever repay you for your kindness? Thanks so much. It was sooner than expected. If you hadn't found her and brought her here, she may have... Thanks. Yeah, well, I was pretty surprised the baby was born so quickly after we arrived. Glad we made the decision to come straight here. This is our third child, so the delivery went pretty smoothly. Thank God. After things settled down, please let me thank you for all you've done. I felt pretty good after that good deed. But when I arrived at the restaurant the following day, the owner was pretty pissed off at me. Well, I was expecting this. Emily probably really trash-talked me to her dad. You don't think you can get away with humiliating my daughter? Don't expect any other restaurants around here to ever hire you! I was pretty annoyed by all this, so before he could fire me, I quit on the spot. Thanks for all these years. About three weeks later, the husband gave me a call and visited me with his family. Must be pretty cheerful at home with three kids. Sorry for all the ruckus. I asked my younger sister to babysit, but just as we were leaving, she insisted on coming. Sorry, coming here with the whole family like this. Oh, huh. Mr. Tsunoda. Were you able to get things back on track with your girlfriend that day? Oh, that... Yeah, well, I split up with her. But no worries. We really did not see things the same way. Oh, really? I'm so sorry. I was hoping to apologize to her. Please, don't feel bad about it. I have no regrets for doing what I did. It was the right thing to do. I really appreciate what you did, Mr. Sonoda. Wish there was something we could do. Huh. Well, there is one thing. Would you happen to know if there are any restaurants in your area that are looking for a cook? I worked at my ex-girlfriend's father's restaurant. I ended up having to quit. I just can't seem to find a good place nearby. Well, then would you like to work at my restaurant? I own several restaurants in the area. What do you think of working at Restaurant Shoe? Huh? Did you just say Restaurant Shoe? That's one of the most popular and expensive restaurants around. B but I'm just a lowly beginner cook right now. I could not apprentice at such a high-class restaurant like Shu. Mr. Tsunoda, you're kind and considerate. If you work hard at a high-class restaurant like Shu, you'll probably become a top-notch chef in no time. Yes, she's right. Cooking requires heart. You need kindness for others. And I believe you have plenty of that. You'll become a wonderful chef someday. I'm sure of it. After that, I started working at Mr. and Mrs. Koda's restaurant. Yes, the renowned restaurant Shu. I hone my skills as a chef. As a high-class eatery, the level of cooking was way higher than the previous place where I worked. What's more, the people I worked under taught me countless things which enhanced my skills as a chef. Several years after honing my skills, I was finally able to become a full-fledged chef. Hey, Rick. It's been a while, huh? Wow, you're driving a pretty nice car now. Huh? What are you doing here? I left something at your place that I just recently remembered, so I came by to get it. All that's long gone. Huh? Did you throw it out? How could you? It's been years since we broke up. Can't keep your stuff forever. Okay, as compensation, we could go out again. What do you say? I mean, you did buy that new car because of me, right? I know you still have the hots for me. It's obvious. So, your intention was just to get back together with me. That's why you stopped by? Sorry about that. I had no intention whatsoever to go out with you. Come on, I know you. 
He would never turn down a cutie like me. <laughs> uh, aren't you going in? Hi, Rick. You're home. How was your day? Huh? Who? Who's this woman? Oh, her? She's that pregnant woman's husband's younger sister. You remember that pregnant woman, right? She's also my wife. What? Are you serious? Mr. and Mrs. Coda were both really kind to me and did all they could to help me. They would occasionally invite me out for dinner. On such occasions, I got to see Mr. Coda's younger sister and we hit it off right away. One thing led to another and we eventually got married. I still remember you saying you couldn't keep up with all my nonsense. Yeah, I remember it clear as day. Back then, I couldn't go along with your nonsense and I sure can't go along with it now. Please, don't show your face here again. I would much rather have someone who encourages my kindness rather than condemn it. I mean, I sure can't be the only person to think so. Several months later, Miho had our baby. Now with a new member to our family, the three of us are looking forward to a long and happy life. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.